you can get bodied, and that's kind of how, in certain instances, we saw Frostbite kind of run away with it. Uh, but, you know, again, was able to get some uh, quality combos and uh, make those stray hits matter, and then mount on that damage and be able to find those kill confirms when it needed most. So, really good stuff there by Sharp to move that on. But now we're going to go into Grandmaster versus Burst. Yeah, it almost oh, sounds like I'm going to be talking bad about Samsora, but Grandmaster did beat out Samsora with T.O. Samsora was going bad in a majority of the day, I want to say, so I was kind of catching a stream a little bit on the side. Uh, Grandmaster, I was talking about him before, Three, from Vegas, two, is the Palutena one, main. This isn't the first time we've seen Burst. It's probably, I want to say, like, it's been a minute, though, since we have seen him here, but he's been here to MSM online quite a few times. Yeah, and uh, I saw him using a lot of I was really good at dash under everything. <laughs> I always forget since I don't see anything that much anymore. That's how good are dash is. Nice. Ooh, they got the gift attack. Oh, nice. Looks for the jump there so you can check where Palutena might be looking to land here after that situation. Good grab out of the shield. Of course, if you go for Splat Roller, you are susceptible to being grabbed by a character Ooh, such as Palutena. Wow. And you are to dive. Straight up anti air on the short hop, dude. Really good stuff. That's, What's the timing? That's a very brave thing to go for. That's like a hard call of pitch. Yeah. But, uh, like man, he did not respect that roller hitbox. Yeah, yeah. But I really like that from uh, Grandmaster, that, uh, that up smash call out. Uh, I know it's a pretty early in through the course of the set, but just recognizing that Burst tends to, outside of just kind of dash grabs and stuff, he looks for a short hop like Nair and stuff uh, for pressure. Right? Yeah. You see that there again. So, like, I actually really like that call. -out. It's kind of crazy, though, because uh, Burst doesn't even care. He's like, I'm, I'm still doing it. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm still going to let it rock, right? Uh, but good awareness from Grandmaster to scout that, you know, that tendency out very early. Yeah, I think that's something also that you can put in the matchup with Palutena into a sync lane. Like, when it comes down to the air air, Inkling's aerials are pretty safe and pretty fast. Usually that's one of the things that Inkling will be aiming for, but when it comes down to, like, the overall air to air power, Palutena has a lot of it. I mean, look at the fact that from the ledge, Inkling at 135, he was dead, but it just goes to show both characters have the same back air. I think Palutena just has it slightly better. Oh yeah, no, for sure. See, up air, nope, not gonna get it. Sent. Kind of a pull down there by uh, the Grandmaster, but not gonna get it. Oh, the side hitbox of this match wasn't enough to drag it to the first one. Yeah. Still looking for this anti air up smash, getting a little eager. Nice. Good, good use of that second jump to get away from roller 146. I think Grandmaster yeah. knows what he's gotta do, right? Just stall it out. I'm in I'm in the victory lap here. You're the one who has to come towards me. Good back air for the spacing once again. Wow, down here, out of the shield. Okay. Here's the corner carry. Oh, oh that's a pretty punish on that. Okay. Yeah, burst at this point. Uh definitely be just before the kill. I think it's a bit of a struggle of England sometimes. When yeah. you don't get those up for upper, which he hasn't gotten to see one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, I think it's just again that you have to be so consistent on setting up that up throw up there, right? You gotta know your percents. And once you get in the ways, then you gotta start setting up stuff for landing traps. You gotta know your opponent's tendency for landing traps. Um, fair, ink, once they're inked, you can get fair to kill off the side, so that's important too. Um, up smash out of the shield can be pretty solid. But yeah, that, I mean, you, that's a question you always have to answer as an inkling main, right? Because if you miss that, you don't wanna just go have something at like 180 or something, right? Oh, that's classic hey, smash hey, back hey, Yeah, that was a classico, man. <laughs> not and not too surprised. Uh, Grandmaster had scouted out that habit pretty early on, so uh, that was just an easy answer. Um, the same kind of idea to when he had gotten that up smash early on. So good stuff there by Grandmaster. Definitely reading a lot of the habits and getting some good kills as a result. First is gonna have to be a bit careful there, and like we said before, really find an answer. Like, how are you gonna find that kill? 
Yeah, I don't think first will switch to your chamber in this match. I think Burst was getting caught out a little bit for his habits, but also at the same time, um, dropping those up air, those up air kills, and then just kind of going to like the desperate rollers and like up smashes. I would say just uh, really, really messed him up pretty badly. Yeah. So I, I, I kind of like this bigger stage pick. Maybe that'll like let him slow down the match a little bit and try to get his bearings. Yeah, having a bigger big space to move. Better. It's pretty big for anything too. You're able to actually just resort to having a bigger stage over overall in general to be able to do that. But with Grandmaster, I think for Palatina and her case, right, the fact that there's another platform on the side, and even though the stage is bigger, doesn't change much for her. She still has the range and the ability to actually move around. Good stuff on Grandmaster though. He's doing an excellent job just making sure Earth has to fight for a lot. It's like 1%. Yeah. Easy stock. Stay yeah, back. Same. It's like a very aggressive power. Yep. And that kind of goes back to what I was saying, right? Like, Grandmaster has the speed with Palatina and most of the aerials, the specials to actually go all ahead and say, if you want to run away, I can catch up to you. It's no big issue. Yep. I like the choice of the dash attack, too, to beat off the roller. That's like really good magic awareness. Coming off the forward air, and he gets himself right here before it's sunny. That master with all the control. Oh, yeah, uh, too. Wow. Yeah, he definitely has a. <laughs> he definitely understands his jumping and like landing habits very, very well. Uh, finally, gonna find that kill there uh, on burst side. Uh, sitting at 105 though on the second stock. Gotta be really careful. Hopefully, can hold on to stock a little bit. A good nair drag down into up tilt. See that a bit more from Hollows this day, or these days. Say okay, fair pressure, but be careful, of course. Palatina can dash attack for that. Great burst option. Very recovery too to avoid the neutral uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh man, and the Grandmaster went for up tilt, like again, like trying to look for that jump in coming in from burst. Yeah. Good nair. Set up, close plane, of course. That Nair, man, is, it, you know, and that's one of the great things you look for, right, uh, as a seasoned player, when someone is in the corner, sometimes you do two things, right, sometimes you uh, go ahead and you advance and you pressure them because of the stage and stuff that you have, or sometimes you just let them hang themselves, so to speak, and you can see that Grandmaster keeps doing that. He'll just step out in that microspacing just a little bit and get himself the easy whiff punish on, and he's been able to get him an air to air and anti airs so consistently throughout the course of the set. Inkling has no ink here, and Grandmaster catches the center stage on that one with the side special. This is a fact. Yeah, yeah, not it. Yeah, that's good. It is good too, because look at what. He gets the recover, of course. Oh! <laughs> Is the uh, oh. I would have unplugged the controller, undocked the switch. Oh, back next that week, was maybe. in his soul, dude. That, dude, that was. I, you know what? That's one thing that I love about Smash. Like I was talking to people about this the other day too. Like the greatness of our like our shimmies or like you know our whoop on shit, whatever you want to say. Because our characters literally turn around. He literally walked to the ledge, stood in the ledge, new man was afraid, and then casually walked to the roll and charged yeah. up. It's Knowing that he would want to do that because he didn't want to be in that space that he just previously was. Like, man, yeah. conditioning. That's yeah. what happened. I have to agree. It stems from a lot of, like, Grandmaster shutting Burst down whenever Burst tried to come from the ledge and go for neutral air, and then Grandmaster would punish that accordingly. So yeah, it comes down to conditioning from Grandmaster's end. Like he pretty much told Burst, if you want to come out from ledge with another Nair, try me. And if you want to roll from the ledge, you can try that too. And then all the situations I have just make you feel like you have no other options because I've already read the textbook. Yeah. 
That was, that was yeah. Really yeah, that was actually kind of fire, dude. <laughs> like he just kind of just like gave him the claps. He yeah. he just covered pretty much every ledge option he could. Yeah. yeah. So Bert, so the real s uh let's see, first plays mostly ink offline and hates ink on Wi-Fi and plays Yoshi, but Yoshi Palu is due. Yoshi, he plays Yoshi as a secondary slash dual main offline as well. Nice. Great information okay. there coming out of Real SK. Thank you. Uh, next up on the stream, you guys already see the names. Sharp versus J Mafia if you're just tuning in. Sharp beat out Frost by 2-1. J Mafia over Viri 2-1 here. And of course, this is the battle for winners finals. Uh, on the other side of the bracket here, we have 8-Bit Man versus Grandmaster. Grandmaster just winning an 8-Bit Man beating Knight. Midnight 2 1. Losers, we do have some names here. We have Tyrant, Samsora, Death Spade, Too Thick Nick, Scizor, Peckham, Q Tip, Lazy Zack, Ishel Hell, who's actually another Link main alongside Scizor. Just to name a few. I think Hbox may or may not be out. I know this 